Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Kyle Kleckner. Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us this morning. Get a look at your heading out door forecast today where it might be a good idea to grab a coat this morning as these temperatures will be once again in the 30s and 40s. Kind of like what we saw yesterday morning. Of course, there will be a few areas with some frost as we head out the door. Temperatures will warm up this afternoon, though, expecting 60s by the lunch hour. Topping out this afternoon in the 70s, expecting dry weather really all day long. Looks like a great, fantastic fall day for us. Temperatures now, though, of course, on the chilly side for us is 34 at Albany, but a little bit warmer. Those temperatures are off to our south and west currently. 40 at Hebron, also at Ainsworth and O'Neill and Ogallala is a little bit warmer. Over when you're sitting at 48 this morning, so temperatures kind of a good mix in the 30s and 40s. We'll see those a little bit more consistent in the 70s this afternoon. Wind speeds right now out of the south and east staying pretty light for us, 5 to 10 miles an hour if that want to calm wind. Of course, those winds will be picking up this afternoon out of the south and east, roughly 15 miles an hour or so. So expect a light breeze later on today. Satellite and radar, not a whole lot happening across the area right now. Still got high pressure in place. A few showers are just off to our southwest, but those shouldn't really amount to much of anything. Let's miss our area. There is a slight chance later on in the over hours tonight, of course, after this beautiful day that we'll have. Might see a few isolated showers, maybe a couple storms in the southeast part of the state, but otherwise expecting quiet conditions today, but things are still gonna get a bit more active for tomorrow. We get a low pressure system moving into our area of course, of a warm front moving into the area as well. Could see a few storms right along this warm front heading into the latter part of the day tomorrow. And I think that rain will be favored to, uh, in the northern areas for tomorrow. So, and then more so on Thursday as well. So I think northern areas, once again, probably the favorite to get more of that rainfall. So we'll have to keep a close watch on this system as there are some severe weather chances over the next couple of days or so as this low pressure system moves on through. So after today, looking at tomorrow, there is a marginal risk here across parts of central and eastern Nebraska, northern Kansas also included in this marginal risk too. Damaging winds and hail look to be the main hazards there. And likewise on Thursday, maybe a slight risk to have that across eastern areas. So Lincoln, look out for this on Thursday, of course, expecting to monitor this over the next day or so provide you with the latest updates as they come in. But 73 for an afternoon high today. Lots of sunshine, nice light breeze this afternoon. Just a great day. Temperatures night cool off to number 46, mainly clear skies. You have that isolated chance east. Otherwise, I think most of us today or tonight will be rather dry. And then tomorrow looking at a high around 77. This temperature is just a touch warmer, but we'll have that chance of showers and storms roll into the picture later on tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures today looking fantastic in the 70s. Might see a couple places in the low 80s too. Otherwise, temps tonight mainly in the 40s, minus some 50s off to our south and east as well. And temperatures tomorrow, got a good range here across the state. Upper 60s off to our north. Most of us should be in the 70s. And of course, that warm front, temperatures a little bit warmer off to our south in the 80s, 85 tomorrow at Overland, Kansas. Combine cast these next couple of days. Might want to get out in the field today and for the most part tomorrow before those storms do roll in later in the day tomorrow. So hopefully those farmers getting out in the field, taking care of the harvest. We'll see temperatures here. Staying warm at least through Thursday, of course, that day is going to be a little bit of a tricky forecast in terms of temperatures, for the timing of that cold front moving on through. But Thursday looks to be our best chance of rain, once again, favoring those northern areas probably. And then those temperatures come crashing down to just 49 on Friday. Of course, might have some rain, so we'll stick around Friday morning. And it's going to be windy. Might see some wind gusts 50 miles an hour, Sarah. It's oh going to be goodness. windy. So yeah. cold. And it's going to be cold. It's not going to feel like 49 either. No. And then the rain, potential rain whipping yeah, around. Yeah, potentially too. Friday morning. It should be clearing out by the afternoon. But yeah, Friday's just not going to be a fun day. Not a chance of that other precipitation. Maybe off to our west, not in our coverage area. We'll right. talk about that. All right, all right. <laughs>